Ministries, and my name is Mr. Alan C. And I love God. I'm His humble servant. I want to share Him with you, and uh, share His Word and learn along with you. So let's take a look at this daily devotional for the very first time today. It's actually Easter here today. Um, I don't know if the devotion will have to do with Easter. Let's take a look. So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, "The Lord is my helper." I will not be seized with alarm. And it says in parentheses there, I will not fear or dread or be terrified. You're just not going to worry. What can man do to me? What can man do to you guys? The Lord is your helper. Seriously, who's going to go against you? Bring it on. Okay, so now Joyce is going to dive in a little bit here beyond our feelings. In the Bible, James 1, verse 5 through 8, teaches us that God cannot answer the prayers of a double-minded person because he responds to our faith, not our fears. Self-doubt is fear. Fear of making mistakes or doing the wrong thing. People who struggle with self-doubt often feel totally wrong about themselves. So guys, quit doubting yourself. Okay? Believe in yourself. God created you. You're fantastic. They carry a deep, rooted shame and just can't seem to accept themselves or have confidence in their ability to make decisions. Well, guess what? You're you, and just be you. Don't try to please people. You're going about it the wrong way. You'll never be happy trying to hang out with people that you have to act unlike yourself around to impress. That's not going to be fun. Why would you even want to hang out with them anyway? If they don't like you, it just tells me your personalities clash, and you're not really going to care for them in reality. So quit trying to impress them. Probably right about now you may be thinking, well, Joyce, I really can't help how I feel. I wish I felt confident, but I just don't. What am I getting ready to say, or what Joyce is getting ready to say to you may be one of the most important things you've ever heard in your life. Are you guys ready? I haven't read this ahead yet. Let's see. You don't have to feel confident to be confident. All right, so this kind of goes back to fake it till you make it. Let's see what she says. To live in victory, each of us must and can learn to live beyond our feelings. Okay, so you need to overcome your feelings of your physical body and your mind, what it's telling you. Joyce learned that she can feel wrong and still choose to do what's right. I've also learned that I don't have to feel confident to present myself in a confident manner. Now that's freedom. Oh yeah, I've been in so many situations, I look like the most confident guy in the room. People are like, oh my god, he just say that? Yeah, man, I did. Not feeling real confident inside, but they don't know. And then afterwards, you know, they all buy it, and then I start to feel confident. Prayer starter. Let's start a prayer here. I'm going to set down this slime ball I got in my Easter basket. <laughs> Father, I am so tired of allowing my feelings, especially shame and self-doubt, to hold me back. Please help me and everyone watching on YouTube, all these great people. Please help us to trust you and to provide what, please provide us what we do not have. Thank you for being my confidence. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. What a gift it is to talk to the most powerful person, most powerful being. Ever, there, that there ever was or ever will be. You can't call the president up, and who would want to talk to him anyway? And I'm not being political. Any president, who cares? Why would you want to talk to president? I mean, it, it, I do respect leaders, but what I'm saying is instantly through prayer you can talk to the most powerful being there ever was or ever will be. Now that is impressive. Very impressive. And that's because God loves you. And he sent Jesus down just so you could communicate directly with him so your sins could be forgiven. You ought to see the look my future fiance is giving me. She's eating a nice little piece of, what is that? She got a mouthful. She's like, really? You're going to make me talk? What is that? Babe, tell us. That's just my squishy ball I got for Easter. Cheesecake. What kind of cheesecake? It's got something on top. Turtle. Turtle Cheesecake. She's munching and crunching, guys. I want to talk to you guys a little bit um, about being, having God in your heart. You know, I don't want to put labels on there. It's good to be a Christian. 
Um, that scares some people, like Christian. They want to control me with their beliefs and stuff. How about you just try to have a relationship with God? And uh, as you learn more about him, he'll shape you. And everyone's loved. Um, anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about was... Just make some time for God in your life every day, if possible, you know. Go out, seek Him. You don't have to go sit in a church. And I just want you to know that normal people can have a relationship with God. I'll tell you, recently I've been swearing so much. So much. Like when I'm playing video games. And I'm having a blast. But swearing, I do it. And it feels good. That's the worst part. It's like feel better and uh, I know it's wrong so I'm gonna work on that a bit because people when I live stream on the internet they're like one guy the other day he said you swear a lot and I don't want to because I love God with all my heart it's just funny how we can sit down and be one person you know go over a biblical devotion and then just go have no control over ourselves so just know you're not alone I know that one guy listening right now he's thinking of some pretty nasty stuff did you notice I said stuff? I thought a swear word, honestly, right there. Anyway, just work on it. We're all humans. Also, there's this really cool app I found where it's free, and you can see all these people's prayer requests. And you hold this button, and you say a prayer for them, and then it marks it, and it notifies them that they got prayed for. And I did it, but now did I uninstall it? I hope not. I might have uninstalled it, so I might have to tell you about that in the future. But look for that. It's just search prayer app in the Google Play Store or something like that. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thanks for coming up for this devotional. Oh, yeah, someone asked us to pray for her. Let's find that. Here we are. Peace Annie. Peace Annie says, Mr. Allen C., Mr. Allen C. Okay, she didn't say my name once. She says in the comments, and I appreciate your comments, guys. I hope you have more. She's referring to this daily devotional video I made. I hope you have more because I only stay on YouTube or Facebook on this computer. Thanks. What's bothering me is that I don't have any friends. And the ones I do have, I feel like they don't care all the time. I'm looking for love. Friends and family. Hang on, i got to open it. Friends and family that... Truly love me wholly without judgment or self-seeking. Just want to be loved. That's it. So please pray for me. Well, Peace Annie, let's say a prayer for you. You know, we all get that feeling, and it's discouraging. It's of despair. And uh, let's say a prayer for you and everyone watching. Dear God in heaven, is your humble servant, little Alan, and... First off, I just pray that your will will be done on earth and that I can shine a light on earth and actually do something that's worthwhile because all this stuff in life, all this physical stuff, this day-to-day -day getting by, this is not valuable. It's just a small segment of time where we're, well, we're here before your mighty return and that's when things really start to matter. So I pray that you'll use me and everyone watching on a daily basis to live your will and you'll connect with us and we'll do things that please you and uh, that help help um, deliver your message and complete your goals and your uh, your will God's will is his plans you know so may we live in his will we also want to pray here we have a prayer request in from Peace Annie just came in one hour ago. We're so grateful to see prayer requests show up. It's funny because I haven't done a biblical devotional in a while, God. And I was really getting into it. And then today for Easter, I was watching a lot of Joyce Meyer. And uh, this is all just coming together nicely. Like, this video was just made thanks to Peace Annie's comments and the great Joyce Meyer videos I watched. And great uh, feedback on YouTube here. So, we want to pray for Peace Annie and for myself, for everyone watching, and just for the world in general. 
that we can find people who we feel really do care about us, love us, you know, and actually care about us. They're not just there to take advantage of us because we've all been through it. We've all been with the friend or the significant other who puts on a brave face, a nice nice mask, you know, looks like a caring person. They're just using the crap out of you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, people, you know, for just ruining my life for a segment of time. God, I pray that we find real friends, real significant others like I found in Jane, people who love us and care about us. That's what I pray for me and everyone watching. Peace, Annie. I pray this all in Jesus' name. I thank you for this opportunity to share your word. And I hope my message, God, I hope my message actually contains something that's valuable to share because I'm just doing my best. And I really care about you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. All glory goes to God. Give him worship. And that concludes our stream. Oh my goodness, guys. I didn't think it was recording there for a minute. All right. See you later, guys. Glad it was recording. Bye-bye.